of those young fellows with all their generosity laying down their lives for their friends in the spirit in which Jesus laid down his life. I was 16 years old and my father allowed me to go. We certainly recognize the spirit with which those young men fought in terms of defending what they sought to be, their family and their, their, their lands and the cause of what appeared to them to be the right thing. I was just turned 17 at the time. I was 16. And I was 15 years. When you're in the midst of, of conflict, that's when you have great need for spiritual solace. When they came to us, they were frightened children and had to be made into soldiers. There is a, a, a real struggle, that a great darkness around that. There, there's great evil. And so all the more necessary is it to have people who proclaim the light of what is good. I gave every part of my youth to do a job. In, in the midst of, of great adversity and highlighted mateship, uh, generosity, calling on the ingenuity of the people of Australia and of New Zealand. There was a job to be done, and you just got on and did it. So with Anzac Day, we, we should spend some time reflecting upon the, 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 the horror of, of what could happen if we were to walk away from peace. And the ground shook. And we could see the hundreds and hundreds of gun flashes I can well imagine that in, in seeing the, 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 the reality of war, it, it's great horror that you would want to spare anyone else from having to undergo that. As soon as the bombardment started, the German retaliation came. And for four hours, we had to sit there and take everything he slung at us. Um, I think there's that, that common recognition that of, of the generosity uh, and, and, and great heroism displayed on, on, on both sides. And, and, those are virtues that we can celebrate. We got no sleep at all that night owing to the noise of our artillery barrage, which was continuous the whole time. It is a time to, to pray, uh, to ask for grace, and to, to vow never again. We was asked to hand over any personal belongings to our company officer, such as photographs and letters that we valued. I heard soft voices talking to one another quietly. And I wondered how many are going to live to see the sun rise. And it leaves a, a, a lasting impact on a family, if it be through death or, or even just the horrors of war. We realised that sooner or later we were going to get the chop. You're either going to be killed or wounded. Where we pray for the dead, we pray that they enter everlasting life, that they will rise victorious with Christ. We will remember them. The age shall not weary them, but, but we, we pray for them and we pray for their everlasting glory, that they be purified, that they enter into eternal peace.